Real quick, Trav. Uh, we know it's uh, your birthday coming up. Yeah. It's coming up to- tomorrow when this airs. Yes, sir. So the in 5th honor of October, of birthday, baby. Well, in honor of your birthday, you don't know this, but uh, the New Heights team has decided to celebrate by bringing on our first guest. <laughs> and boy, is it a doozy. Is this real? It's real. It's happening. Our first guest is a blockbuster actor, comedian, and of course, Kansas City Chief fan. <laughs> I present to you our first New Heights guest, Mr. Paul Rudd. <laughs> this guy really <laughs> is here. <laughs> Happy birthday. That's pretty, that's pretty good, How guys. How about that? Thank you guys, man. Paul, what's going on, baby? <laughs> man, this is, I'm so excited to crash your podcast. Dude, to wish dude. you a happy birthday, Travis. I, I'll tell you what, I did not expect you to show up on this screen, man. I love well, it, though, man. I love it, though. It's electric, man. Saw you, uh, saw you at the first home opener not too long ago. Got to see you and Jack really? representing the Chiefs, as always. Oh, my God. So exciting. That was, it was, you know, it occurred to me. And Mike, I've been bringing my kid to Arrowhead since he was six years old. That was the first game he's seen w- where he didn't have to wear like a winter jacket because we're always there. <laughs> later Christmas in the year. holidays, it yeah. Amazing. It was a beautiful night, and it was uh, that was a yeah a great game, and it was great seeing you. It looks like you're held hostage right now. This is like a hostage. Where Dude, are you? This is my this is my timeout corner. Nothing on his walls. Yeah. It's my timeout yeah. corner. Yeah, I just uh, <laughs> you believe. I choose not to put the stray jacket on and look like a complete insano, but uh, yeah, no, I'm, I'm working on the decor as we speak. Yeah. <laughs> work harder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It looks like you're putting in zero work. Just trying uh, to figure. Jason, out looks like you're, you're kind of. It's like you're getting ready for Christmas. That's what <laughs> I'm going for. I'm, I'm I'm like a Christmas year round kind of guy. Uh, yeah. One day I'll have the white beard. It's coming in quicker than uh, I wish it awesome. would. And we're here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this is. I'm and, uh, looking at. The- of us in order and it really is like the beginning of a beard the uh, travis you're in the middle is like a, a, a regular beard and and then your main cabin builders over <laughs> yeah, in grizzly here. adams over here on the left it's got like that show on <laughs> tv oh yeah little, well, little do you know he has some carpenter work in him paul oh, i can't yeah. thank you enough for joining us uh how does it feel to be on the number one sports podcast in the world and do you feel one of the world nervous? baby do you feel a little nervous Yes, I do feel nervous. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely feel how, nervous. Um, how did you? How did you two first meet? I've been curious about it because Travis told me you guys are friends. You know each other. How did mm-hmm. this uh, originate uh, organically? Well, I mean, I want to say you know I remember when you know you joined the Chiefs. I, I follow everything, and uh, mm-hmm. was very excited. And I want to. I feel like I kind of got to know you really through Dustin Colquitt, I'd say. DC man, D- Colquitt baby, yeah. his uh, his holiday parties, and then we did some uh, we did some stuff uh, on camera for um for a gentleman in the city that I remember uh, mm-hmm. he was going through some stuff. But yeah, I think uh, that was that yeah. was definitely the first time we met. It was actually I think it was at your house. Yeah, we did the recording. Yeah, well, you've been in my house. Place. I have a picture of you. I have a picture of you and my mom, and it's so funny the height disparity between you and my mom. There's a picture where it's like. <laughs> You're, she just she I think she comes up right to your belly button. Not a, not a very tall woman. No, no sweetheart tiny. though, absolute sweetheart. But she she loves you. She loves you as do I. My God, man! This I appreciate great. you jumping How's on, man. Podcast? This is I, this is uh you know it's like it's like you got Peyton and Eli, but now this is the one. This is <laughs> the good brothers. The, the brother duo, yeah. The good brothers. Yes. What uh. <laughs> What uh? What's your favorite uh, memory being a Chiefs fan, Paul? What's uh? Is it the Super Bowl Fifty Four? Is it? Yeah, yeah. It's it is without a doubt. I mean, it's honestly one of the greatest moments I've ever had in my life. It's it's nice when um a moment can happen in your life and you're aware that it's one of the greatest moments. And it was during the Super Bowl, and I was with my kid. And, you know, he and I were watching it and we watch every game. We follow everything in the off season, his whole life. And every year, you know, it's always, look, we, the team is great. We got a lot to look forward to uh, next year. You know, we're going to get them. And, and when, you have, when you have that conversation, you, you know, so many times it's, it's, it's heartbreaking. And then 
I feel you. We were at that game, and Damian Williams ran around the side. Baby. And was like, oh, my God, there's not enough time. We (laughs) were – and, and I knew it. And my son turned to me and burst into tears and I hugged him and he wouldn't, and, he, and I wouldn't let go. And I just said, uh, we just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> He's crying, crying for five minutes, five minutes, like a lifetime of just pain and joy and everything like coming out. It was so amazing. And then when he pulled back, uh, he had blood all over his face. He had a bloody nose. <laughs> <laughs> she so him much too emotion. Hard. Tears, tears couldn't. Yeah, maybe I crushed him. <laughs> tears, tears couldn't contain. Everything came out. And he's like, "Oh, cool!" And he's bleeding. And then I like try to take selfies, like a just a <laughs> idiot. Oh. <laughs> and and, um, and it was, but it was honest. It was honestly that moment was one of the greatest moments uh, of my life. The culmination. I saw you right afterward on the field, and we just Dude, I remember just bear hugging you. you. Bear hugged you. Oh, that yeah, was, that I've was, got that. By the way, they took it was in. It was in. There's a picture of you, you're hugging Jack and me, and there was a picture of it in the USA Today. I have it framed on my wall because it also says Travis Kelsey hugging teammates. <laughs> they, know, <laughs> they know you're a part right. of it, baby. We were, the whole kingdom was on the team that day, man. That was a fun moment. Oh man, what a thrill! Memories yeah, last forever. That was an absolute thrill. So. Paul, you said earlier also that you were watching this last game uh, Sunday night. Did you happen to see the tight end sneak that the Chiefs ran? And did you see oh, yeah, Travis? Oh, yeah, with Noah Gray, like uh, when he went Noah in, Gray, baby. The- but did you see Travis's play uh, acting skills on the side? I don't know if you noticed. Mahomes was looking at him. Yeah, look at had to kind of sell it. Uh, yeah. An act of, uh, 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 yeah, distraction. Yeah, as a professional a actor. No, how do you. Acting. How do you grade Travis? Oldest trick skills? in the book. A lot of commotion over here. <laughs> Sneak in the back door. <laughs> you know Been working for years. Yeah. Been working for it's years. It's amazing. Are you great acting. I've seen you. I've seen you pull that off more than once. Uh, it's awesome. That was great. I was yeah, overjoyed. You're the man. No, it always works. 92 percent play right there is a is a sneak. You yeah. sneak man. Ninety two percent. Jason. You know what? Jason was, did the stats. Before this was even set up, uh, which is so funny now, the, my first tweet was 92% of the time it works every time, mm. which, of course, is one of the most iconic sayings of all time. That Mr. doesn't Mr. make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> it's nonsense. Classic, right? um, <laughs> do you follow the Eagles at all, Paul? Yeah. I mean, my gosh, you guys are the number one, the uh, only undefeated team, of hey, course. Way to reel it back, well, Paul. Way to reel it back. Not the number I know, one. You can't be as excited. Just 4 0. Not the number one. Well, Not the number, just... no. The number one, according to Dan Hansis power rankings today. <laughs> well, we have, a, we, have, we have a little bit of a Batman uh, freaking saga going on in Philadelphia right now. Everybody is a type of Batman. Darius Slay, mm-hmm. one of the most, I, one of the co- most colorful personalities, said, No Robins. We're all Batmans. Does Ant Man feel left out that he's not a part? of philadelphia's iconic batman thing going on right now you know here's the thing about ants we're left out of everything (laughs) am is left out of all of it i mean if you go to a store and you just see like you know marvel superheroes across like action figures they have nowhere to be seen so i'm used to not being included in any kind of cavalcade all batman batman is dc i suppose that you know you could really go Pacific and go. All right. Well, you're in the. That's the DC world, but uh, separate enemies. Realm. Yeah, but uh, you know, it's all, it's all heroic and and uh, and uh, you know, yeah, I get by. I get. I'm not going to be included in Philly Philly's uh, Batman show, but that's all right. That's all right. How is it in Philly right now? Are they just? Are they just? I mean, it's got to be so exciting. It's electric right Philly, now up there. Philly's a good area right now. It's a, it's mm-hmm. a good town to play football in right now. Where mm-hmm. everybody's excited. The the buzz is in the air. Four and zero. Just played a rain game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, which was brutal. Um, and uh, yeah, it's fun. It's a lot of fun right now. The uh, now that I'm thinking about it, I think Ant Man might recognize. I might be screw Batman. I'm being Ant Man. Because that recognize, I mean, Philadelphia is an underdog town, freaking coming from out of nowhere to surprise everybody how great they are. Yeah, I'm in on that. First game I ever went to in my life was a Philadelphia Eagles game. 
Really? Was yeah. it in Philly or in Kansas City? It was in New York. It was the in Giants and the Eagles. Ooh, I was about five years game. old. And my dad took me. And uh, I mean, this was way back. And I have, I think back, I mean, Harold Carmichael was playing. Wilbur Montgomery wow. must have been, was playing. Um, really I mean, this, cool. is a, this is in the 70s. And, um, and I, two, two memories I have from that game. Okay. One, my mom packed me uh, snacks in a lunchbox. And two, I, um, I peed in the parking lot when I left. Big dog. Uh, Gosh. Yeah. Big dog. I, uh, Leave your print. Yeah. <laughs> I marked you. That's right. <laughs> Love my print. I marked my territory. That's right. It's, you know what I was? Because uh, I had to, we had to, my dad was always like, we're going to get out of here and beat traffic. Fourth quarter. Yeah. I'm like, I have to go to the bathroom. He goes, don't worry, you'll pee in the parking lot. Just pee. <laughs> That's the first time I'd ever done that. So exciting. Yeah, you're not you're not a part of uh, football fandom if you haven't peed in a parking lot. That's like a rite of passage. That you should feel proud. I feel like that's awesome. The movie yeah. Big Daddy made it okay for all kids to pee wherever the fuck they want to piss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it, it really kind of opened the the floodgates. So do to, you so remember? Do you remember what good. mom packed you? Um, no, <sighs> I imagine I wanted to, I there just... was there had to have been some carrots in there. I'm sure there were some carrots, <laughs> and then. Which, which, you know, you, what are you guys growing carrots in the backyard? <laughs> <laughs> no, she had, she probably, I mean, one, she, I know knowing her, she put in so much stuff like cookies and potato chips and everything else. But I, and then some carrots, cause you gotta have something healthy in there. Of course. And then I would imagine that my dad, uh, he, she, she might've thrown in a pack of cigarettes for my dad. <laughs> 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 a Salem's. Which I think back then you we're, could just smoke in the yeah. stadium. We're going to try and uh, be as healthy as possible with my son and try and get this old man out of here as quick as possible <laughs> with these cigarettes. Yeah. Just, just Enjoy, the game. Enjoy the game, boys. <laughs> <laughs> That's Classic. awesome. What do you, what, Travis, what are you doing for your birthday? Oh man, I'm, uh, I'm going to enjoy Kansas city. Probably just go grab some, grab some food with friends. Um, not too much going on out here on a on a Wednesday or a, a Thursday, so uh, right. Yeah, don't got a lot going on. At least on my birthday. Over the weekend, though, I do have my walk the walk uh, fashion show for my foundation eighty seven and running. So I'm gonna have some fun. I got a lot of family and friends coming in for that one um, on Saturday. Oh, nice on Saturday night. Yep, and uh, a lot of the proceeds help the 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 kids or the underserved kids in the Kansas City and Cleveland communities. So obviously, growing up in Cleveland, so. Um, Having some fun with that over the weekend, uh, and that'll be all the celebrating I do, man. Uh, getting ready for this Monday night versus the Raiders is uh, is where most of my focus is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, really, I guess that's all that. It's all you really can do. It's, yeah. It's every, Once you get year, into the week, week of the season, the routines of the season, man. It's uh, it's hard to kind of get out of those routines, but um, obviously, times where family and friends come in, you get to relax and. Uh, those are the times you get to unwind and uh, have some fun. So this weekend will definitely be fun. But uh, Monday night's a huge game for the division, so don't want to look past that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that is going to be great. God. Yes, sir. What do you, uh, what do you I mean, got going out there in uh, in New York, brother? You know, I've been uh, – what do I have going on? Not much. I'm really – I'm really – you're chilling we right now. This, we moved in this new house, so we're trying to get it, you know, kind of seen, seen to, you know, hanging up pictures and all that kind of thing. Um, my kids are in school. Uh, my son Very is nice. getting ready. To, he's going to, you know, he's 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 uh, he's got college coming up around the corner, so we got to go through all of that stuff. Man, what? In he's going I into know, college man. now. <laughs> Golly, I remember when he Crazy. was putting on medium jerseys, man. Yeah, yeah, Lee. I know it's, it's it happens fast. All uh, I, it's crazy, um, and uh, yeah, no, I mean that's it. I'm not really I'm not really filming anything right now, which is nice. I had to film a couple days on uh, the, we did another Ant Man movie, so that comes out in February, and so I had to watch. Nice. Can't wait to see it. Cannot wait to see. Uh, it. And so it's it's big. It's a bi It's gonna be it's gonna be bigger than the other ones. It's crazy. Very um, cool. So that was cool. But uh, so I, I had to go do a couple of days on that. But other than that, it's been nice to 
really just sit and watch a bunch of football. And that's <laughs> Well, oh. this is the best time. I mean, October is really the greatest sports month there is. And, you know, and they're going crazy here in New York, obviously, as they should everywhere for, you know, Aaron Judge. And, yeah. And everyone's kind right. of watching the that. judge, baby. And, uh, it's been fun watching him. And uh, and then this overlap, this overlap of like baseball and football. And oh, it's great. Then hints of like basketball highlights because they're all starting up. I think the the NHL actually starts up October 11th is when their season starts. Um, oh, yeah. So everything, you everything. Premier League. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, every Saturday, you can catch uh, uh, some Premier League football and college football. Yeah, it's the best. And it's not October, baby. It's going on every day. Well, it's arguably the best month of the year. <laughs> I know. <sighs> arguably. <laughs> When's it? Well, Jason, when is your birthday? My birthday is in exactly a month from Travis's. I'm November 5th. Trav is October 5th. So I uh, I feel like uh, I don't look forward to my birthdays at all anymore. Jeez. Yeah. Mainly because guys like Paul Rudd don't call in, and uh, <laughs> I don't know guys like that. Like, I'll I'm call in. Calls from I, I'll put it on my calendar. I'm not moving. I'm going to be right here. <laughs> Maybe I'll have a picture well, hanging up. That's about the only we, difference. We just uh, we just celebrated my uh, daughter's uh, third birthday, so we're we're pretty far away from college. But um, man, it feels like even just three years has flown by. So I can't imagine yeah. uh, what it's going to be like here. But um, yeah, oh, that's great. So, what's what's um, what did you do for her third birthday? She went to an Eagles game. Went to uh, the Eagles game. We got a huge thing of popcorn from uh, Swoop, the Eagles mascot. Uh, I got to see her uh, in the tunnel before I went out. And then afterwards, we came back home, and uh, the highlight of my day wasn't beating the Jacksonville Jaguars. It was eating the uh, pink uh, cake with a green dinosaur on it that my uh, daughter wanted for her third birthday. Oh, so nice. it, was, it was incredible. <laughs> She's been talking about this pink uh, green dinosaur cake for the last two months, probably. <laughs> and when she saw it, it was incredible. So nice. made the day. Oh, it's the best. Did you let this her touch Pearson's jacket? I did not. I have it hanging up though. It was still wet. Uh, mm -hmm. It's now dry. It is probably my most prized possession at this point, outside of a Super Bowl ring from '52. But um, that uh, I, I went into the game. I'm like, man, I don't know if he's going to go for this because for some reason I I don't do a good job of keeping in touch with my former coaches and everything, or really just former teammates. I'm just bad at that. Um, but right away, like seeing him out there at the field after the game. Um, and I went to him with my jersey that I started the game off with. I'm like, Coach, it would be honor if I could trade this for your jacket. And he looked at me at first. He's like, what are you talking about? Like, what are you, you want my jacket? I'm like, Coach, please, I would be honored to take your jacket. And then he got excited about it, and it became a thing. So I was, I was really happy how that went. A little unsure how it was going to go. but uh, It's a tough position. You put awesome. him in a tough position after a loss to be, I mean, you know, to get. I know, but he was. You know, he obviously is upset with the loss, but you could tell, uh, like, after me, Lane Johnson, a lot of the guys had come up there. We had so much history together. Um, you know, he was happy to see us, even though the game didn't go his way. And, um, you know, I mean, he's an iconic Philadelphia coach, first person ever to bring a Super Bowl to the city, got a standing ovation before the game. And uh, to know that I got his rain-soaked, sweat-soaked jacket uh, is pretty awesome. Yeah. I thought it was really cool. <laughs> and he's so proud. You know, he loves you. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's mutual. And um, you know, what was it like? Can I ask you a question? What was that parade like please. when you put on the Mummer's outfit? I mean, that was that was iconic. <laughs> I got yeah. What was that? What was that like for you? So, um, first of all, it was it was filled with a lot of uh, alcoholic beverages. You know, to to loosen me up quite a bit. But I was um, shocked. I would have. I never would have guessed. Never would have guessed. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> But the, um, you know, the, I forget, one of the front office people looked at me before the day started. He said, Jason, have fun. I was like, you know what, man, I'm, I'm going to do that. I'm going to have fun today. <laughs> Don't and, you worry about uh, that, we sir. All, yeah, we, we all just like immediately once the buses got out and we saw how slow it was going, we got off the buses. We were shaking fan, uh, hands with people. Um, the, the, that whole Super Bowl run, 
was such a big moment from the city. I mean, you were talking about earlier, Paul, about how like yeah. being a Kansas City fan and like waiting all these years and like, you know, year after year, disappointment. Obviously, Eagle yeah. fans have been through that for a long time. And um, to see the overwhelming amount of joy and happiness that it brought people, to see how many people had literally brought together all in that moment at the parade, um, you know, it's 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 a different feeling than right after you win it. Right after you win it, it's about you and your team. And then the moment you're at the parade, you realize, oh my gosh, this is like, it's about so many people that have spent yeah. all their lives cheering with family members at the games at home, uh, spending yeah. their Sundays together. And uh, the, uh, the, the speech really had culminated. I don't know, man, I couldn't sleep for days after that game. Uh, and I'm just thinking about, you know, my own journey, Nick Foles' journey, Doug Peterson's journey. And it was easy to see the correlation of like the amount of adversity and, and, and longing that this city has been for years. And um, man, it was almost like it had to be said. I didn't really need to write anything down. Um, in some ways it just felt natural coming out. And, um, you know, I'm really happy that so many people in Philadelphia were able uh, to to share that experience. And man, it was awesome. It really was. It was great. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it really Sorry. is. It is the greatest thing that can happen to a city. And especially, you know, for Eagles fans and Chiefs fans, like you say, people that have been waiting a lifetime, yeah. like just truly, I mean, decades. And, right. um, uh, and when you think of, you know, there's so many people and it's like their relationship with their, the, their dad and then there's somebody passes on away and it's like, that's the first person they think well, it's so enormous. This is what, this is what sports can be. It's like, it's, it's the best, one of the man. great, it's the best. one of the, one of the great uh, memories I have from after that chiefs run Travis was when I saw that, that footage of, of your dad on the sideline. Oh yeah. When, uh, Bob I, Kels, man. I, I watched that. Oh, those, that those one of got, you that, that don't know. Me. Those of you that don't know, my dad uh, finally made his way down to the field after the game, as well as my brother did. But he um, he yeah. jumped right into my arms, and obviously, you know, uh, it always hasn't been just uh, I don't know. Me and Jason haven't always been that top recruit, that top uh, draft pick. Um, so it's been a, a, I don't want to say an uphill battle to prove ourselves, but it's been a it's definitely been a fun journey of us working our tails off to get to that mountaintop and. Uh, my dad just uh, mentioning how how much uh, how much he loved seeing me in that moment, knowing that we had persevered and uh, and, and and got through a lot of stuff. Um, you know, it was just uh, it was awesome. It was awesome to, to cherish that moment with my dad, knowing that he was always on my side through it all, and he always believed that I could do it. Yeah, yeah. you know, I haven't seen dad in tears too much. Um, you know, I remember I'll never forget the moment he found out his mother died. Yeah. And I don't even remember him crying in that phone call and to see him bawling his eyes out, holding his son after he just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, that was, I was cheering up and I'm cheering up right now because it was one of the most uh, Me too. like wholesome moments of, of my existence. Man, so that's the best. Um, yeah, that's, the best. that's Papa I'm there. I was, my son was crying and hugging me. And uh, yeah, fathers and sons, and what this what this game can what this game can do. And my God, the pride the pride he must feel. The I mean, now it's like two Hall of Famers here talking to you, two of the best <laughs> all time. Thank you for. That. I'm serious, for sure. I, you you for couldn't sure. tell him anything once we got drafted. You sure as hell can't tell him anything now. I I can tell you that. But he's a, he's very proud, and uh, you know we're uh, we're that makes that that makes it even more honorable knowing how proud he is of us. You know. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, God well, knows the entire uh, town of <laughs> Philadelphia and the town of Kansas City feel the same way. Here's my. This is my. This is my. Uh, my prize possession right here. Oh, we got here. Be away. Be away. Look at this. Yeah. The big eight seven. The, there it the, is. The crispy white baby. <laughs> Waiting to get framed. Let's go, man. I love Actually it. Actually, for my son, my son's birthday, and, and this is going to come out before his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone talks to my kid, don't tell him. Yeah, <laughs> don't let him watch the show. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't let him watch well, this show. 
I, I, I know you've been extremely generous with your time and I want, I mean, I, I think this is probably Travis's new favorite birthday gift he's ever received. 100%, dude. I didn't, I didn't so, see. This is the first time I've ever actually been surprised on my birthday. So thank you for just absolutely <laughs> slapping me in the face and, and making this awesome, man. Thank you, bro. I appreciate you. <laughs> well, I am happy that I get to, you know, crash the Zoom and wish you a happy birthday. It's a thrill for me. Uh, you know how crazy I am about you. I am such a huge fan. You are just, you know, one of the, I think the best of all time, and certainly the Thank importance you, you have on that team. My God, we wouldn't be any, we wouldn't be here without you. So uh, it's been great getting to know you, and I'm happy I get to wish you a happy birthday. And I guess I'll see you guys in a, at least a month when I come back to, you know, wish <laughs> That's right. November 5th. Mark the calendar yeah. date. <laughs> You're the man, Paul. I appreciate you, dude. Thank you so much.